be really honest, I've been postponing this moment for the last, like, hour. <laughs> I'm like, I get anxious sometimes. But hopefully this works out really well. I'm pretty Tell tired everybody work. why you're doing it, then. Because I love you guys. Aww. Yeah. Aww. I love you too. Okay, guys. So I'm going to be reading two poems for you, both of which I wrote in workshops in like three minutes, which was fun. But yeah. <clears throat> they called her majestic, the way the sun kissed over the desert hills and whispered, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. They called her Jamila, which meant beautiful in Arabi, but it also meant terrorist in every other language. Oh. They called it civil war, but it looked like a genocide to orphan children and wounded innocents. Their shaky breaths dropped with every explosive and caught with every bullet, blood and death painted on the ground. And she'd sometimes stick her fingers into it, like tree roots, hoping to recover lost peace, sense of self, anything to save her own sanity. But then they traveled. They somehow made it across the Atlantic, leaving a war zone in their tracks, watching as more bullet holes decorate the buildings behind them. A new home, a new start, life and liberty, equal opportunity. They came to America in hope and in refuge, but reality hurts more than just dreams. Television is fake, the movies aren't what they seem, because they called her a weirdo. Is she bald under that scarf? She wished the folds of her hijab would devour her existence, but with struggle comes resilience, and thrive she did. They called her family murderers. They made Islam synonymous with extremism, but little did they know the real terror threat was supremacism. They turned her into the enemy, although she was definitely on her side. The only guns she had ever seen were used to kill her friends, and the only thing she knew about bombs was that they caused hurt and death. It was because she was Syrian and she'd claim her heritage to her last breath. They called her majestic, the way both sides held pistols to her head. One said Allahu Akbar, but she didn't understand why God would want her dead. One branded her a terrorist, although she sought peace. She watched sunsets over busy cities, but could still remember the bodies falling at her feet. Wow. wow.